Split it up. Split it up. Split it up. We haven't done one of these in about 16 months, 17, 18 months. What's up, everybody, and welcome down to another episode of Zetro's Toxic Vault. Alongside myself, I have producer partner in crime, Mr. Walter Morgan. What's going on, Walt? What's up, Zet? Huh? I don't know. I just thought we'd do an episode today. An um, Exodus or Exo update? Uh, kind of an Exodus update, a little bit with some other flavors to it. You know, um, we um, recently, we haven't gone live in a while, so... There's been some things that have gone on. There's after some, after Shock Festival, after we have Shock that. Festival, we want to talk about that and yeah, uh, new, obviously new single that came the out, final single that has dropped before the album comes out. But let's get into After Shock Festival, which happened in um, last month in Sacramento, California. It was it's a four day festival. With, uh, I couldn't think of a band that was not on that festival. Wow, there's a wide variety. I but mean, from, I was there. I actually got. Did to you go. go to all four days? I uh, went to three of the four, and I actually got pretty close to you. I took some pictures and maybe a little ceremony on your face. I saw that. Yep. But I, I got pretty that. close. I did. So, what was your best day? Was it the first day because of the bands you know are friends with? Because well, honestly, the first day it really wasn't. A lot going on. It I mean, was it like was, the, it didn't start it, as early. Really, they never had a first day before, and they did it on a Thursday. So it was, a it was Death Angel, um, Us, Testament, Anthrax, and Cypress Hill basically were the bands that played that day. And then the next day, a lot of people there though. I think if anybody Friday, uh, yeah, ever heard of Aftershock? It's uh, surprising how many people you see. Ninety thousand the day Metallica that? played, you know. So Metallica. So yeah, I saw Metallica two Friday nights. Friday and Sunday, you're right. Metallica did a special. They played the Black Album on the Sunday night, and they played it not in the order, but they played every song from it and a couple at the beginning wow. that they opened with, and that was incredible. And then the Friday night is you played Thursday, and Metallica headlined the Friday night, and I saw them again. And, uh, Did they play excellent. anything special on that night, Walt? Uh, no, a lot of the older songs, like Whiplash and things that they had done at the smaller clubs. They opened clubs. with Whiplash, right? right? And that that was cool, because if you think about it, how often are you going to get to go to see Metallica on one weekend and see, uh, uh, what, four hours worth of Metallica, every song different? So it was like you really, they really did a That's good great. show for the Bay Area. That's great. And then again, on uh, Saturday, it wasn't as many uh, metal bands, but there was like Gojira, there was uh, Mastodon, I think. Volbeat. Volbeat. Um, um, oh, Anth- what is Anthrax Offspring played on this? On, on there. Anthrax uh, played the Thursday Anthrax night with played you. Anthrax played the day That's out with right. us. Um, so there was a, there was a, I mean, everybody from Rancid, there was all kinds of. Um, Social Distortion. Social Distortion. Butcher Babies, I mean, uh, Suicidal Tendencies. Mastodon. Mastodon, yeah, I said that. So there's Saw a lot of. There's a, there was, I could a go big, on. There was, there's festival. so many. The special thing for us was, is it was for us, it was the return of Tom Hunting, and uh, Tom had come back after you know his his. And that kind of went viral. The I filmed actually. Yeah, that the, was like that part. Your introduction filmed. to Tom. Yeah, yeah and that you, went I, viral. I knew that you filmed that. I knew that. <laughs> this is very special for us on many many ways. Number one, it's the first show back fully with the full lineup tonight. It is the first kind of one close close to the Bay Area, I guess. So with Death Angel and Testament, we could kind of call this the Bay Strikes Back a little bit, right? But there's something that's very special to all of us. So I want to hear you make some noise. He has returned! 
and aftershock. He took cancer and kicked it right in the fucking face. Would you please welcome back to the Exodus stage on drums, Mr. Tom So uh, it was great to have him back on stage after his battle with cancer that it looks like he has won. And, and uh, we actually, we have to do a video next week or this weekend coming up. And um, we're playing the Fox in Oakland, which we will get to here That's coming another up thing on, we gotta on talk the 27th. About, huh? so that's but um, it was good to be back on stage with everybody. It was good to be back because uh, we really haven't been in a home crowd in a, in a, wa in a long time. I kind of considered that home a little bit. Sure, um, California. You know, and let me show you something, guys. kind of closed. So. so if this is a shirt that I bought at the show, and it's a special one because it is the Slay you got Team. You that at the show? Right? Yeah. And then on the back, if you can read that, Steve. Slay Team California. So they did a take on that, and it was a special. They also had an album cover shirt that uh, – had your new album and oh, the really? date on the back and yeah so it was cool and Slay Team California so it is very special and it was a special show. Well it was great again to get back to play the songs. We didn't play anything new. We won't play anything new until the Fox show uh, but um, we're two weeks away less than two weeks by the time you I see this. Through, yeah less than two weeks from the new album. This. So so well that's another thing and um, I think we were talking about that earlier. We're gonna go live for um, the day of the album, we're going to go live, but not from the vault. Wait a minute, let me come thing. to your house. And that, your no, that's what we're doing. We're going to do it live from Zetro's Man Cave. We're going to go live. We're going to take your comments and your uh, and your questions and your stuff about what you think about Persona Non Grata. And we're going to live do that on the no, day that the November album drops. November nineteenth at noon, we will do that. So uh, I believe that's a Thursday or Friday. I'm not thinking right. Friday now. And you know what's right? good about that is now you can just talk about everything that you want to well about that's what's great is i'll be able to talk about all the songs with all you guys if there's anything you want to go so uh, just put this in your calendar when the album comes out walt and i are going live noon that day pacific standard time like oh like normally noon here in california and we're going to knock that out so i'm um, looking forward to playing again like i said aftershock was a lot of fun it was good to get back together with everyone and rehearse it was good to get back together with everyone and play uh, to be on stage with everyone, and I, I felt that we were... Uh, I like your quote, too. You said, this is kind of like Bay Area Strikes Well, it back. was, kind of, because Death Angel and Testament were on the show, so it, it felt like One it right after the to other, us. Yes, yeah, so it seemed like it. It was kind of... So it did happen a little bit. None of us got to necessarily play full sets, but we got to um, definitely um, show uh, Sacramento, which is, to us... Is a hop, skip, and a jump away if you live in the Bay Area. It's not that far. I've gone to Sacramento for many shows, and uh, that's just part of it. If you live in the Bay Area, you're like, hey, let's go to Sac, though. These guys are playing. It's just Ace an hour and a half it's away from most of the Bay hour Area. 20, so. something like that. So you get in a car, make a road trip, bring a pipe load well, with you. Well, that runs us right into what happened since last time. Also, is you had your new single drop. So we'll talk about that for a second. Uh, the Years of Death and Dying, which to me is, uh, which actually are the lyrics were written by Tom Hunting. And um, lyrically, the song is kind of about coming from the point of view of death himself or herself or itself or however. And it's um, talking about there's no uh, prejudice in who and how he takes the life. And it goes into a lot of um, rock heroes who were, um, you know, have succumbed even ones recently. So if you read the lyrics or listen to the song, there's a lot of metaphors that are, I'll probably do a contest to see how many people can pick out all the cool metaphors from there, from that song. Um, but all the metaphors that are in there that relate to musicians. And um, I'll, give you, I'll give you guys one in the song. He says, um, I ended the eruption. We also know, we know who that is. I ended the eruption. Eddie Van Halen. Oh, okay. Okay. Eddie Van Halen. Right. So in the song, there's many 
um, uh, kind of um, two tongue, tongue and little, little new nu little nuances of a little, like I said, metaphorically, or, or you know, you can take it of, one way or the other, right? You know, with, with, no, there's little hints on who it could be, you know, and, and there, and, and, and they all came up. from the and Tom wrote that. The very part to me that's very special about that song is that he was actually facing down his own mortality after he wrote that song. Isn't that kind of strange? And to me, after I sung the song, uh, because him and I were the only ones who knew it until everybody has heard it, I thought, and then, you know, we found out in January, you know, what, had, what he has been going through. Um, I, I was, wow, that song yeah. just resonated with me, how he wrote the lyrics to that song. And now, even though he's fucking kicked its ass right in the head, yeah. like I knew he would that he was actually staring down and, his own And he, we all know that you go so. through cancer. It's a physical thing. But yeah, you, see, you know that, Walt. You know. But it's in your head. And that's even worse than going through all the physical. It's what, how your mortality, you know, time, how much time you have, all that goes to your mind. So it's a very difficult situation for sure. So I just thought that that was, um, I don't know if there was irony there, how you would call it irony, but... Um, it seemed like, you know, we, we, we had finished the record before we knew of that he was afflicted with cancer. And so um, we didn't know. Um, um, so then to read the lyrics, knowing that I sang them, and I'm at this point, nobody's heard the album. It's him, me. He knows the lyrics. Gary knows the lyrics, and I know the lyrics. I just thought to myself, wow, that's wild that he wrote a song about that very same thing. And then when the record was done being recorded... It's kind of like his artwork he could and his have, he could have writing. Been, you know, it could have been, you know, uh, you know, just, you know, the other way. You know, it could have been. But it, it, luckily, it, gladly, it didn't. You know what I mean? But it was just, to me, that I, I felt there was some ir irony in that. I don't know. Leave me some comments. Let me know what you guys think. If you feel there was some irony in that um, a, a, a little bit, you know. And I'm, again, not in a bad way at all. You know what I mean? I, I, I just may, maybe sometimes... Destiny, uh, and he felt um, great playing that show. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he felt, and he looked great, and he played the show great. He was on fire. He, when you guys hear the whole record, come the nineteenth, you're going to be blown. He was a man on fire. He totally kicked ass. It was the best performance on an album I could hear. That Tom, knowing that he was going into this, what happened to him, and and he had just recorded the record three months prior, was like wow. Amazing, just absolutely it's the greatest sex for so, this album. So, for sure. a lot of people that I'm doing press with think it's we're quite you know our best album, a masterpiece. So, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see what all you guys think of it, of course. Well, that's what I think. So, but so, I'm glad, I'm glad you think so. So, that segues right into we're gonna get to see Tom again and we're gonna see you in the hometown right. coming so, up. Out of all the shows on the Bass Strikes Back tour that we had to postpone, and we again, we're we will, we will be back through uh, April and May to fulfill those dates. We did keep the Oakland date. And um, we will be back uh, the Saturday after Thanksgiving, November 27th, later this month. And uh, it'll be Death Angel, Exodus and Testament at a very famous, famous theater in Oakland, the Fox Theater. Many, many, many of our it's beautiful heroes theater. and legends. It's a beautiful they, theater. They redid it. It's an honor to be able to years. play there. It's, it's really, really cool. So we will be doing that on that night. And I know for a fact we will be playing some new Alp songs off the album. Well, so, that's breaking right there, huh? So that, that I can't a tell you which one. A special treat? I don't think it's a special treat because now the album will have already been out but a week But it's a special now. treat to see it live. I think so. Time, I think so. it'll be well, at least for anybody who's attending the show, most Bay Area people, and there are some people I know who have bought tickets online from other places to fly out just to see it. And, I'm going. Uh, you are going. Of course you are, Walt. It's going, you're going to uh, um, um, really enjoy the set. I know what it is. I can't tell you, but uh, you're going to dig I'm it. I'm going to try to film be, those new songs. It's gonna, cool. Yeah, everybody just got to pull your phone out like everybody else does, man. Well, that's how I mm -hmm. do it. So, so we have some uh, comments because a lot hasn't gone on lately. Um, oh, yeah, we're going to get to that. We'll, we'll get to the package. Okay. We're going to do some comments first, and then we got a, a very generous package that we, we always get well, to actually helps us. Decorate our just show. Just a few comments because so we just uh, have a we have a few. We've been busy kind of lately, and um, a lot of the stuff uh, of the comments came on live episodes. 
Okay, that, so this was, uh, we'll go back to uh, 915, which was when uh, Clickbait uh, surprised live. How would you compare the new songs that, how they came out and which one, how does it represent the album? The singles that have come out. I mean, is it a big representation? Is, is that what you expect, is the, you know, that type of songs for the rest? I, I, um, I to be honest with you, I love uh, the beatings. I love clickbait and the years of death and dying. I wouldn't kick any three of those songs off of any record I've ever done. But I have my favorites that are not those three. So I, to be honest with you, in my eyes, and this is my opinion, the best is yet to come when you hear the record. That's my my eyes. And, and since you know the titles of the songs, I'll just point out right now, obviously the title track to me is, is a barn burner. Uh, Prescribing Horror and Lunatic Liar Lord. Those are my three that I, and again, I love every fucking song on this album. I think every song is a single. This is kind of like, when Bonded came out, every th song on Bonded by Blood was like, you know, even me, and I wasn't on that record, man, I'm telling you right now, I, as a fan, I was like, fuck, every song was killer on that. wasn't one song that you got, eh, kind of a filler here. There wasn't one. From the fans, of course, I read a lot on internet, as you know, and I think uh, a lot of people are comparing the songs that they've heard to Tempo of the Damned. That you okay, so now, I've been doing this in the press, and... Uh, I will give you my opinion on what I think the two records, in my idea, it's two records. Persona Non Grata is a cross between Tempo of the Damned meets Exhibit B. And that's kind of how I, I see it. I think it has the rawness and ferocity of Tempo of the Damned, but the heaviness and crunchiness and intricate song structures of Exhibit B. So again, the three singles that released are not like the longest songs on the album and the ones that are the longest songs on the record are composed so well. And you just have to give it to mostly Gary Holt and, uh, and uh, obviously Lee because they write the guitar parts. But everybody on the record, uh, Tom was a man possessed. Jack Gibson did the most amazing job on the bass. And when we were up there doing it, he was so second guessing what he was doing. And I kept telling him, just relax and play, just be yourself. And then I heard the record, the final mix. And I called him and said, dude, I don't know what you were tripping on, but boy, you fucking nailed it, man. You did a great job. So uh, going into that, I, I think that I, to answer the question, yes, it's a good representation. The album is heavy, like all those three songs. Definitely, I just think for all you guys that haven't heard it on the 19th, the best is yet to come. Okay, we'll go to a few comments. Uh, Metal Dam 78, of course, our regular, says uh, clickbait is predictably awesome. And I like that quote because predictably, like, you knew it was going to be good. Come on, it's the new Exodus. But. I don't think that anybody has, has I don't think it's disappointed. This record is not disappointed. It's not going to disappoint. Um, I, I know it's taken seven years to do this album. I know this, and, and, and to get it out. And a lot of people know why, and so I'm not even gonna get into that, you know? But I think after this time, the record delivers on all cylinders, and um, at least you're gonna get something that's amazing quality that I maybe if we would put something out in 2017 or 2018, we may have not had the time to spend to make it what it was. The band wouldn't have been able to stay together like we were when we recorded the record. We were all together doing it at once, and I feel that that's why it's called a band. It was a full band effort during the recording process. Up I, at Tom so Hunting's, right? Up at, so. Well, yeah, up at Tom's. Tom has a, has a really huge man cave up in Lake Almanor, California, where he lives, and that's where and we went. And you can see it. When you get the new album, if you buy this, uh, the double-disc edition, it has the making of the album, Filmed the Tom's with. Uh, oh yeah, there's there's a lot of a lot of videos. Get those extra. I got that yep, for sure. Yep. Which goes into Scott Prather's uh, question um, or statement. The video for the beatings is killer. Yes, it is. Ah, um, uh, uh, yeah, it is really killer. Um, 
when they're taking the fingernails off at the end. I don't even know if I can handle that. I mean, and I'm a horror guy. And I'm going, oh, God, that's got to fucking hurt. And I just, you know, but yes. Um, uh, Which leads me pretty brutal. my own question for you. Uh, do you plan on doing another video of any other songs coming up? Or you don't have to say the song. Or yeah, just- we're doing a video this weekend. for this, Actually, when this, this is being um, aired, um, in two days we fly to Arizona to film. Actually be in a video of one of the songs. So That's good. I'm not quite sure I can say which song, no, so you won't. just won't. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, there were lots of comments on how uh, everyone liked clickbait. So that episode, that's the end of that. I have and a Yes. Is Tim it, has a question. Is it going to tie into the storyline of the first one, or is it going to be a separate? To be honest with you, I don't know what it's about. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. It quite possibly could be. I mean, that would make sense, and I, but I'm not sure what the content is. I know I have to be in Arizona next week. And every from, director does it differently. They kind of get it out of you there, right? What the, I, 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 again, right? nobody has sent me anything. I know, nothing. I know what song it's for, so we'll, we'll see what happens from there. All right, and uh, one more comment, and this goes into uh, when we go live, but Ed Knight says, looking forward to this album. Audio on this video sounds like you were recording on a boom box but see when we go live we lose something don't we steve well we don't have mics we we actually when we go live we uh actually have just an ipad and some of the stuff that we um well we used to have those big old boom mics and right. stuff and those didn't work so now we use lapel mics basically which are but, better uh, even but when we go live we do it from from an ipad that's so it's either there, so it's, sometimes you so, miss a little of the I'm trying to implement the camera and the sound into the iPad, but there is a... But then we wouldn't but, be able to go live if you want to... Well, I know. could go live. We're trying to figure yeah. that out, how to do that out. So, yeah. but... Um, we will figure it out. <coughs> but um, I have... Um, actually, in the last few weeks, I have moved myself from where I live, and I'm no longer in the Bay Area. I've moved out of the Bay Area. And um, Walter and I are going to start doing something that's going to be called... We're not going to be in the vault, but we're going to be going live, and it's going to be live from Zetro's, <laughs> Zetro's Toxic Band Cave and where my new place is. And so um, I think we talked about this. Uh, the album is going to come out on November 19th. Walter and I will be going live from Zetro's Band Cave on November 19th so that you guys 12 o'clock can, noon. 12 noon, so you can talk about the... Um, Right there as you're listening to it, or if you've heard it before, or whatever. Everybody will have it by that time that wants it. And so we'll be able to talk about the record and see what you guys say, you know what I mean? Your comments, what your favorite songs are. If you have questions about what this meant or what that was about, hopefully I can answer them for you, you know. But um, always right. remember, you got to leave us comments. The, the, comment, the more comments you leave us, the better off we are. We know where we stand. We, we do an episode like this. Although, like I said, we haven't done much in the last couple of weeks. We've been kind of... Oh, you had a Chuck Billy episode. You know, well, that was good, but we were live then, which we had. You guys and all the had... the Bay Area Strikes Back tour yeah, update. Yeah, and you so guys all had a chance to... You can see that and go that, back so, to it if you want you know, to see so, that. That's yeah, also yeah. what had... And then you had uh, the chemistry, uh, tri-chemistry lab episode. For all you potheads. Eh, want you know. to know how, how, how oil is extracted from weed. But keep the comments coming, and obviously, if you have not, and you please subscribe to the channel because that always helps us out. And so, um, I don't know. You got anything else for me? Well, oh, we want to open this package. Well, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. So, Ta- you- talk about that. We have great fans. Uh, this is from James Hebba Brand, and this came through the PO box. Yep. And thank you for and and, our, and he's out there watching. So you- I know he's watching, and Tim's going to put that PO box up right, right now, so we can go there. And um, James is a big fan. Um, you yeah, have the biggest, for sure. Letter and other stuff Let's inside. I'll read that later, James. What does he have for us? Always shirts. All these shirts. Always, mm-hmm. always the Hebba Brand shirts. We got the Hebba Brand shirt. We got the Hebba Brand shirt. Okay. But he's yep. very good at, at at decorating our set, and he always gives us something cool. What, what do we have in this? Oh yeah, look at that, Walt. It's Iron Maiden and uh, Flight of Icarus, as it say? What yep, it? it is Flight of Icarus. It's got Eddie with the wings on and the gun. We're going to have to 
we'll pin that up somewhere around. Thanks, James. We appreciate that stuff. And maybe you, there's something in here that is there okay. Well, else? I don't have glasses there, on, Walt, so I can't. And other read stuff. You. It says if it. If you would so like we'll to see. look in there, and well. Walter will look at that, because James always kicks us down. What do you got, Walt? I don't know. It's like Christmas, you know. You is never it? know what you We're get. We're almost at Christmas. That's true. What are you getting me for Christmas? Two front teeth. All I want for Christmas is my two front teeth. Oh, it's from. Uh, I think that yeah, this is from. Your tech band, Nukem, oh, yeah, Nukem, right? So a couple yeah. little stickers in there, and uh, some pictures, of course, from the your uh, toxic golf cart thing, and you printed out. Oh, that's out. neat. Anyway. That is so cool. Anyway, yeah, always sends us some you cool can, stuff. We have a letter. He's gonna read it. I'll read it off air because I never can. Uh, I, I don't even have glasses on right now. Thanks, yes. James, for all the stuff. And like I said, we're going to be going live November 19th. I have a couple of more killer interviews that we're coming, that we got coming up anyway. So just keep looking out for the vault and more fun stuff. There's going to be some point, though, where I'm going to have to go on the road. Honestly, I did this show when we were kind of off time, you know, and now. Pandemic when. <laughs> well, not even then. Before then, I, we right. really weren't Through touring all that much. And so, you know, there was times to do this. But at some point in time, I'm going to have to go on the road. And tour, and I don't know how much of the vault I'll be able to do, but we're going to keep doing it as much as we can. And again, Walter and I will be going live from Zetro's Toxic Man Cave out in uh, Oakdale, California, my new residence. So I don't care if they. How know do you like it out there? Love it. You love it it's out great. there. It's yeah. kind of neat getting your own house. Getting, getting away from everybody and the traffic. Me and the dogs. It's great. It's awesome. Nature. It's great. So anyway, you guys, you know what to do. Keep the comments coming. Subscribe. And Walter and I will see you in Zetro's Toxic Vault soon enough. What's up, everyone? What's up, Walt? Hey. What do you drink when you get up in the morning? Oh, I got to have it. Death Wish Coffee. Death Wish Coffee, everybody. I'm telling you, the people over at Death Wish Coffee, Jeff Ayers and everybody, has been really good to the show. We like to give you guys all the free giveaways that on the funny questions that we do come up with. The strongest coffee in the it world. Is, it's metal coffee. If you right guys want to get up in the morning and kick your ass. I some. have to wake up. And look Death forward to waking up when you have Death Wish. So go get some. They're in your grocery stores everywhere, wherever you are in the United States. If not, go to deathwishcoffee.com and order some. You will definitely be pleased. If you're a coffee drinker, and I know the world has turned into it, you will love Death Wish Coffee. Go get some today. We want to thank Kyle and all the guys at Hella Hot Hot Sauce for always giving us product to push on to you guys. During our live segments, we always have a contest and give it away. If you like really great tasting hot sauce. Quality go, hot sauce. Tasty, I mean hot, but they have, you know, medium and mild stuff too. Yes. And but their hot stuff is types. killer. And all their, uh, their hot sauces seem to have like a theme. Like I know Florida Frank from Hate Breed has one and I know Techno Destructo from Guar. And you have one. one. It's coming and out. I have one coming out. It's Zetro's Toxic Shock. And and actually, you've tasted it. And while it's very tasty. Hella hot. And, and it's Hella really tasty. tasty. So, but, but in the meantime, before we get that out, go to hellahothotsauce.com and get some hot sauce today. Want to represent Zetro's Toxic Vault? Go to seasonofmist.com and get yours today. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I was in Vegas, and then a couple of weeks later, I was in Full Terra Salt in Illinois, and you know what's great, Walt? I looked out in the crowd, and I seen Zetro's Toxic Vault t-shirts. So go to seasonofmist.com. You can do it in, in Europe and in the States. They're print to order. So if you want a, one of our cool prints on black, and black White, a girly, small, 5X, whatever, hoodie, t-shirt. Long whatever, sleeve. Long sleeve, whatever you want. They can print it however you want it, but you got to go there first. Seasonofmist.com. Get your Zetro's Toxic Bulk shirt today. How do I get you to send me a message? 
you can just go to cameo.com and I will send a message from you to somebody, anyone you like, anyone you dislike. I can send a birthday greeting, a bar mitzvah, maybe you just had a baby, maybe you want a Can you do an talk. accent for me? I know you have I, I can do few. whatever. You I'll have a few go, I could go, if you would like it from England, I could do it like that very easily. But go to cameo.com and request Zetro today and I will send a really cool funny message for someone for you.